friends, Beth with Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by. So I had to go to Hobby Lobby the other day because I was out of something in the middle of a project and I'm out of something. And all of these other things jumped in my cart. So I thought I would just show you on my little mini yarn haul the things that I didn't need but came home with me anyway. And I'm so excited about these. They've just got some fun colors and fun ideas and some stuff I've never worked with before. So it's like all new to me and I love it. I'm just excited. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks. Starters. I've got some of my 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 go-to same old oh how much I love. I love this cotton. It is so nice. Derek picked these ones out. Right here. I picked these up. This one is pistachio and this one is delicate and they both go together. It's just a bright happy springy green and this one is some swirlies of yellow green and a little bit of purple splashed in there. there's a little bit of blue splashed in there and some white just a fun color combination and I love this cotton it's super fun to work with I love it I love it it's really soft 180 yards and everything was 30% off so 379 with 30% off that is an amazing price like two sixty four, I think two dollars sixty four cents for a skein. This is one fifty three hundred fifty three yards is what you get with the prints, and one hundred eighty with the solid colors. So I've got something to make with that. I'm not sure what, but this was the colors that Derek's picked. So I'm gonna go with it. And then we'll move over. This is the one that I picked because I just love this one. I've never gotten this color before. It's called Paris in June. Look at, isn't that awesome? called Paris in June. It's just a whole bunch of different shades of blue and there's also some yellow in there and a lot of white. I don't even know what this is going to work up look, looking like but I'm excited to work with it because it's so pretty. So again the prints are 153 yards, 100% cotton, one of my favorite things and this is Paris in June and this one coordinates with it very nicely as you can see right here. Again I love this cotton. 180 yards in the solid color and this one is called deep turquoise so I have two of each of those right there it's going to be something fun and it's going to be obnoxious and I love it I am really excited so I'm not sure what I'm going to make quite yet but if you have any ideas let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas of what I should design with these colors does anything does it scream anything to you let me know and then here's the stuff that I haven't worked with before that I'm really excited about because I've never worked with this one before. I always see this one on the end cap and I never get any. This is Crafter's Secret Big Idea. There is 740 meters in this big old skein. Look at that. It's huge. And it's pretty darn soft, I think. It's a four weight, five and a half millimeter hook. So I would say this is almost identical to a Red Heart Super Saver or like the Karen Simply Soft or I Love This Yarn from Hobby Lobby also or the Big Twist Value from Joann's. This one is pretty soft. I'd say it's probably a little bit softer than Red Heart Super Saver usually is right out of the gate like this. This is pretty darn soft. This one is called Pepper which is black. So it's just a big old ball. It's heavy. It's actually heavy. Big old bowl of black and this one is brown. Again heavy. 810 yards and this one is one that goes with both of them. It's called Pearl Fleck and it has black and brown in it on kind of a cream background. You always get less with the prints than you do with the solid colors. So this is only 605 yards or 554 meters. Oh. But the price point is amazing. These are $10 and they're 30% off. So for $7, got this great big thing that's actually heavy. It's really, really heavy. So I was excited about that. This is screaming autumn to me with this color palette. So I don't know what I'm going to make. If you have any ideas, again, let me know. But otherwise, I'm going to design something that's going to use utilize all three of those colors. They're going to go together very nicely. See, there's a whole bunch of black flecks in here and there are dark brown flecks. This is going to be fun. Again, this is 97% acrylic and 3% viscous. So, viscous. So, it's almost all acrylic and it's really, really soft. And now I've got some things that I have never worked with before 
but I'm really excited too. As I always say, I'm so excited to work with that. But we found these, I don't know if I've just overlooked them before, or maybe I wasn't looking at the right color palette, so they never jumped out at me. This one is called Cotton et Lin, and it is 80% cotton and 20% linen. Oh, so very soft. I already love cotton, so cotton and linen together have to be beautiful. This one is cyan, and this one is mauve. I picked out the pink one, of course and Derek picked out the green one. So they're saying this is cyan. It looks a little bit more like a dusty green to me. It does not look like a cyan. Cyan is a blue. But this doesn't really look that way. It's kind of a like a country, soft, dusty, gray, green colors. Just really pretty. Jumped out at me and jumped out at Derek and the pink one, of course, mauve, jumped out at me. But you get 180 yards, so it's just like this. You get a whole bunch. 180 yards, four weight, five and a half millimeter hook, but it's cotton and linen, so I'm really excited about that. Gonna make something very comfortable and super soft. It's gonna be great on skin because cotton and linen are wonderful for making clothes. So those are two more things that I was so lucky they jumped in my cart. And then here is the last one of the things that I did not go to the store for. And Dee picked these out. These are Yarn Bead Chloe. He loved this color palette. I was just excited about this one is so pretty and I agreed of course it's gorgeous look at that and it's called sand it's denim and sand so there's blue and browns and a little bit of like peachy color and a very pale kind of a linen-y little tiny bits of brown it's really pretty I'm excited to work with this one I haven't used my Chloe yet so let's see if I can find out what's on this band there we go this one is, just have to peek in here, 70% wool and 30% viscous. So it's wooly, wooly wooly, but it's still soft. It's not, it doesn't feel scratchy at all. So this one is yelling out to me for something for the, probably the fall, but it's a three, three weight. Nope, it is still a four weight, but this is a four weight and they want me to use a six millimeter hook because it's fuzzy, I think is why. But it seems pretty darn soft for being wool. So that's exciting. It doesn't seem like it's going to be scratchy. It doesn't have any scratchy feels to me at all. So I'm really excited by that. That's going to be super fun. Don't know what it's going to be, but it's be something for the fall that I will start working on in the summer. And of course, all these yarns will end up back on my channel again. You'll see them turn into something. It'll be magical. And again, called Denim and Sand. This one is a little bit more expensive. Its price point is $6.99. 30% off is still very nice, but there's a lot in here. There's 270 yards in here, 247 meters. So I figure with two of these, I can go a long way on some fun project. I'm not sure what it'll be yet but it's gonna be really pretty. And this is the color that we got to coordinate with it. We found this beautiful linen color that of course blends beautifully and it's called Bambootiful. What a great name. It's called Bambootiful again, Yarn Bee from Hobby Lobby. And this color is linen. You get 257 yards. This one is 50% cotton and 50% bamboo. I love working with bamboo. It just really seems to be hard to find these days. I don't find a lot of bamboo. This is a three weight. So they want me to use a four millimeter hook so you can see it's a little bit thinner than all these other things, but not terrible. But let's go, these coordinate together so nicely that that is going to be something. It's going to be something cute. Don't know what but it's gonna be something really cute. Get those out of the way and now we'll show you what I actually went to the store for. This is what I went to the store for. This big old bag of I love this yarn. Cause it's been so darn cold here and in Minnesota because I'm making two temperature blankets, one at my house and one at my mom's house. And the temperatures are usually quite a bit drastic, well drastically different in Missouri as they are to Minnesota. But it's been so darn cold lately that I used up all of my blues which is the cold colors. So I got stuck. I was in a stuck, stuck spot. spot. So now I had to go to the store and get a whole bunch of I Love This Yarn in the colors from my color palette because I have to catch up on my, both of my blankets, but I had to get two. This one is called Soft Blue. This one is Glacier. This one is Menth. This is Buttercup. This is Light Peach. Right here is Light Peach. Stonewash. I think that's another glacier. Looks like I got two of everything except for 
Nope, let's look at two of everything of the middle, my middle temperatures, because I have a lot of catching up to do. So this is what I actually went to the store for because I was totally out of a couple of colors. Whoopsie. And all these other things followed me home. So that's part of the fun. I love going to the store and hugging my yarn. So I have a temperature blanket, two temperature blankets, two, count them two, to catch up on. So I better go work on that now. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.